Waiting for the arrival of a new baby should, of course, be a very exciting time. But new research today has shown that many mums-to-be feel discriminated against at work. And it's a problem that seems to be getting worse. The way my employer handled my pregnancy was shocking. I worked on the day I was being induced and was answering texts from my boss while I was still in the hospital. I kept getting sarcastic comments from management for asking to go to the toilet. Well, those are just some of the experiences that were shared in this massive survey of about 3,500 women. Uh, Fiona Martin is a lawyer and employment specialist from Martin Sell Solicitors. Good morning to you. And I know Hello. professionally and personally, actually, this story is very close to you, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, I actually left my previous firm because of similar problems and I set up Martin Sell Solicitors and, in fact, now run equality campaigns every year around pregnancy. And what, are the, what is the biggest complaint? You say that women, uh, dealing with women and maternity is the biggest sort of business that you have and after that is uh, dis dis disability discrimination. That's right, yeah. So what kind of things are women coming to tell you? Um, I think the most common is where women go off on maternity leave, they're aware that there are some issues before they go away but when they try and come back their jobs miraculously disappeared and probably been given to someone else in the workforce. And clearly the, not all these women then go on to take their employers to a tribunal or uphold their rights. Is that what you find that a lot of women just sort of accept it and don't do anything about it? I think it's a very difficult time. Women have been out of the workforce going back. They want to prove themselves. They've also not had um, an awful lot of money. Most people just get the statutory maternity pay. And we've now got fees where it's approximately £1,200 to bring a claim. Mm. Can I ask, actually, you know, if you know do you, is there a fear that this is just the tip of the iceberg? Because, you know, we see the fact that women actually have to pay to go to tribunal now. So there might be quite a few people that are put off by that and not follow that legal course because of it. I think that's absolutely right. It's a real you know, barrier to justice and lots of people are very concerned about and it. And will this sharing of parental leave, do you think, equal things out, where, you know, mums and dads can now share the leave if they want to? Do you think that will sort of equal things out a little bit or at least make employers slightly more aware that actually, this isn't just about women, it's all your employees might be taking yeah. time off? Well, we're sort of hoping that if it sort of does become more popular, then there won't be that um, problem where employers say they won't employ women of a certain age, which is still going on. But certainly we don't have the sort of cultural shift to accommodate that. And I think many men will look and see how their women colleagues are treated and mm. think, well, actually, do I really want to put my career on the line? So I don't think it's really going to be taken up particularly.